give you a warm welcome from myself and our executive director, Andrew Emmett, from the National Scleroderma Foundation, Southern California chapter. We are excited to have families living with scleroderma from near and far join us today to learn more about the excellent resources provided by Needy Meds through their very helpful website. We're extremely grateful to Carla De La Porta, Director of User Engagement with Needy Meds for taking time out of her schedule to provide this important webinar specifically tailored to the families that we serve living with scleroderma. And we hope that you gain the needed knowledge to navigate the helpful resources the Needy Meds website provides. And without further ado, please join me in welcoming and thanking Carla De La Porta. Thank you so much. And as I said, a big thank you right back to you, Tina, for the invite and the members of the Southern California and beyond National Sclameroderma Foundation for joining us today. Um, as Tina said, I'm Carla, the Director of User Engagement at Needy Meds, and we're going to go ahead and jump right in. And what I always like to do first is just offer some tips so you can make the most out of the presentation, such as if you do have questions, you can feel free to go ahead and type them into that question section of your GoToWebinar control panel. Sorry about that. Um, just bear with me one sec. I realized, um, let's do that in reverse. I think what I'm first going to talk to you about is what today's presentation will cover. And that is what is Needy Meds, for those of you not familiar with us. We'll talk to you about what are the healthcare savings options and resources that we offer. We'll spend a little bit of time talking about the Needy Meds drug discount card and other resources. And of course, I'll offer some ways that you can stay in touch with Needy Meds. As I said, I also wanted to offer some webinar tips, and it says helpful webinar tips, so I, I hope that you do find these helpful. And first of all, as I was saying a little bit ago, if you do have any questions, you can go ahead and type them into that questions section of your GoToWebinar control panel. Just know I usually reserve answering questions until the end. So if I don't get the chance to answer your question, which I think I will, but in the outside chance I don't, I will be in touch with you by email. And of course, I will also provide the contact information at the end couple of other things, just a heads up that via email, you will receive a recording of today's presentation, and we're also working to convert it into a video. It just makes it easier to share that way. And I encourage you to check out that handout section of your GoToWebinar control panel. There's where I uploaded some other materials I thought you'd be interested in. So let's get started with what is Needy Meds. We're a national nonprofit co-founded more than two decades ago. On your screen is our mission statement, but simply put, Needy Meds connects people to programs that help them afford their healthcare expenses. And we do that free and anonymously through our helpline, 1-800-503-6897, and our website, needymeds.org. So we're gonna dive in to talk about how do I find those healthcare savings resources on needymeds.org. So it's super simple. You go right to needymeds.org and like a lot of websites, we have that navigation bar right at the top. And the first tab you will see is the aptly named healthcare savings tab. Once you click on that, or depending on what kind of browser and computer you have, you either click on healthcare savings or simply let your mouse hover over that tab, a drop down menu would appear. And in this drop down menu, you will find all of the different categories on ways to save on medications and other healthcare costs. Now, I know that the, this screen is really small. Don't worry at all about reading the text on the screen, I just wanted to give you a screenshot of what that layout looks like under that healthcare savings dropdown. And we're going to go ahead and review what all these categories are and how they can hopefully help you, your loved ones, patients, or clients. So first of all, right on the top left-hand side, you'll have a box 
dedicated to finding patient assistance programs and pharmacies that participate in the $4 generic drug discount program. Underneath that, you will find another popular destination, which is where you can find free, low cost, and sliding scale clinics. At the bottom, you'll find the category for coupons, rebates, and more. In the top middle, you'll find diagnosis information pages and diagnosis-based assistance programs. In the last year or so, we did add this middle category, which is our COVID-19 Resource Center. Underneath that, you can find assistance for medical transportation costs. And moving to that right-hand column, you will find retreats, camps, recreational programs, educational scholarships, and government programs. And at the very bottom, you will also find a link to the Needy Meds drug discount card, which as I said, we will spend some time talking about why that may be a helpful option for you. So this is a lot of information. So what I'd like to do now is talk about what are each of these categories and how can they help you or those living with scleroderma. Now, right on the top left-hand side, as I mentioned, you will find patient assistance programs. Patient assistance programs are usually supported by pharmaceutical companies and most of the time offer free and some of the time deeply discounted prescription drugs usually name brand to those that qualify. Now, the reason those are on the very top left-hand side, basically the first option when you click on that healthcare savings tab, is because by far those patient assistance programs offer the most savings for brand name medications. Now, I also want to mention, I did a quick search prior to to um, this presentation. And just as an example, right now there are four patient assistance programs for CELSEPT, just to give you an example. Now, underneath that patient assistance program, you will also find a link to our $4 generic drug discount program. This category lists pharmacies that participate in programs which offer generic medications for a discounted price. This is a great resource for finding generic medications for a discounted price. Now, just a heads up, there is a little, um, this is a misnomer because not every program will offer $4 generics, but most of the programs will range in price from between four to up to $15 for a 30, 60, or 90 day supply. And again, a quick search to see what pharmacies in California participate in this $4 generic drug pro discount program. There are four, including Walmart and Walgreens. Now, moving right along on that left-hand column under that healthcare savings tab, you will, you will also find that clinics category. If you're in need of affordable primary and preventive care, Search that free, low-cost, or sliding scale clinic section for convenient locations for medical clinics, dental clinics, mental health clinics, or substance abuse clinics. And yes, it is broken down into those four categories to make your search simple. There are more than 18,000 clinics nationwide in this category, and that includes five medical clinics, two dental clinics, and a mental health clinic within five miles of the 90278 zip code. I just picked what I hope is a random Southern California zip code. There are also four substance use disorder clinics within 10 miles of that same zip code. Now, on the bottom left-hand side, you will find our coupons, rebates, and more section, which can connect you to discounted over-the-counter drugs, prescription medications, and medical supplies. Moving on under that healthcare savings tab, in the center section at the very top, you will find 
our diagnosis information pages, which is on the right-hand side right there, as well as our diagnosis-based assistance program. So diagnosis information pages provide educational information and healthcare savings resources for those living with this diagnosis. And I'm so happy to let you know that we did partner with the Scleroderma Foundation to host a scleroderma diagnosis information page. You can find information about scleroderma, hyperlinks to reputable resources, and a list of commonly prescribed meds that are all hyperlinked to cost savings. And at the very bottom of that page, you will find even more resources for scleroderma. This is particularly helpful for somebody that's newly diagnosed. So let's talk about those diagnoses. Oh, yep, I moved on too quickly because I forgot to talk to you about another really popular destination, which is that diagnosis-based assistance program section. Now, for the most part, this section does not include cost savings for medications. What it does include instead are other medical ex help affording other medical expenses, such as medical equipment money to take time off for respite care, living expenses while receiving treatment, testing supplies, et cetera, et cetera. Basically, any healthcare-related expense that is not a medication, you'd want to check out this section. And as you can tell by the examples I gave, the programs vary greatly in the cost savings they provide for different expenses. I checked out this category, and there are currently 16 diagnosis-based assistance programs for scleroderma. Six of those programs are national, meaning anywhere you live in our country, you'd be eligible to apply, and 10 are specifically for California residents. And the cost savings that these diagnosis-based assistance programs help for those living with scleroderma, for example, they include help with patient care, they offer some fundraising options. They help connect scleroderma patients to clinical trials. They can help with living and household expenses and medical expenses. Well, anyway, you get the idea. And what you would do is you would just go to that diagnosis-based assistance program category, and you'll find an A to Z index. Click on S for scleroderma and just go to that scleroderma section, and those are where you will find those programs. Now, I jumped ahead a second ago, I guess because I was excited to let everybody know that we did, as I said, about a year ago or so, maybe more now, we did put together the COVID-19 Resource Center, which, as you probably guessed, it is full of programs for those experiencing financial hardships, and struggling with healthcare expenses due to COVID-19, which are so many people. So now we've gotten feedback from users that oftentimes getting to and from a doctor's office or specialized facility can cause its own financial burden. So look for a program that can help with medically related transportation expenses under that medical transportation category. As I mentioned, on the right-hand side, under that healthcare savings dropdown, we also have categories that provide camps, retreats, recreational programs, and educational scholarships for people of all ages living with specific diagnoses. And I recommend checking out that government program section, which is on the bottom right column under that healthcare savings tab. This category is dedicated to government-funded healthcare programs per state. And at a quick, quick glance, as of today, there are currently 29 programs in the state of California to help with healthcare and healthcare expenses. So it's worth checking out. Now, I'll take a minute to remind everybody that if you do have questions, you can go ahead and type them into that question section of your GoToWebinar control panel. I usually, usually wait answering questions until the end, but don't hesitate to submit one to me if one does pop into your mind. With that, 
I'm going to go ahead and transition to another important way to save, which is with the Needy Meds drug discount card. The Needy Meds drug discount card offers those not using insurance a way to lower the price of their medication. Now, like other drug discount cards, the, drug, the user of the card can take the card, which can be plastic, and it looks like a credit card. There's an example of one on your screen. It could be a paper version, which can be cut out, and you will find this version in that handout section of your GoToWebinar control panel. Or it can also be an app on your phone. So you take your drug discount card in whatever format you have it to the pharmacy with a valid prescription, and hopefully a savings will be afforded to you. Now, you've heard of drug discount card. We know others are available out there, but the Needy Meds drug discount card is free and anonymous. anonymous. We do not track personal data, so confidentiality is guaranteed. There is no registration, no enrollment. There are no residency requirements, and the card doesn't need to be activated. The Needy Meds drug discount card is accepted at more than 65,000 pharmacies nationwide, and it can be used to save up to 80% off the cash price of prescription meds. You can use the you can use it to save on over-the-counter medications or supplies as long as they're written as prescriptions. And you can even use it to save on human equivalent pet meds purchased at a regular pharmacy. You can also use the drug discount card to save 40% off medical equipment. So the big question is, who can use this card? And the simple answer is anyone. The only rule is it cannot be combined with insurance. So if you're uninsured, use the card anytime. But if you do have insurance, you may want to hang on to this card as a safety net because you'll be able to use it, for example, if maybe you find a particular medication is not covered under insurance. Maybe you find yourself in a coverage gap. Maybe you have a high copay or high deductible. Or maybe you exceeded a cap for drug coverage. So I'm going to take just a moment to show you how easy it is to get our drug discount card and the tools you can use to maximize savings. So you may remember under that healthcare savings tab on the bottom right column, you'll find a link to the Needy Meds drug discount card. Well, if you go to the home page, you will also see a box with the red arrow on the left-hand side that says, get your Needy Meds drug discount card. Both of these links will take you to the Needy Meds drug discount card page. This is where you can print out a downloadable PDF. You can find more information on our drug discount card as a phone app. There'll be an option to fill out a form and submit a request for a drug discount card. You'll be able to choose your own design as well. And probably the most difficult way to do it, but still an option, is you can mail us a self-addressed stamped envelope. You can also reach out to one of our call center counselors. I'll have that phone number up again at the end of the presentation, and they would be more than happy to send one or a bunch of them in the mail to you. Now, as I said, this is the Needy Meds drug discount card page. Now, this is the top of the page. If you scroll down, you will also find the pharmacy search. The reason I wanted to point this out is, as I said a little bit ago, there are more than 65,000 pharmacies in our country that accept the Needy Meds drug discount card, but this is where you can find one that's close to you. All you need to do is type in the zip code to see what pharmacies in your area accept it. That's super important. And at the very pod, pod, bottom, sorry about that, you will also find another helpful tool, which is the drug pricing calculator. This is where you can find out how much the drug will cost using the Needy Meds drug discount card. And to find that out, you'd need four pieces of information. You need to know the name of the medication, the day's supply. For example, is it 
a prescription value valid for 30, 60, and 90 days, for example, the dosage, and the zip code where you'd like to pick up the medication. The idea is that you will have your drug discount card, know what pharmacies in your area accept it, and know how much your medication will cost with an estimate. It's an estimate. It's not accurate to the penny. But you'll know how much it'll basically cost you using it before you head out the door. And again, if you don't have access to the internet or you just are having difficulty finding what you need, don't hesitate to reach out to our expert call center counselors. That's what they're there for. And they can find this information out for you. So I promised um, to offer some other resources to stay in touch with needy meds. So first of all, next to that healthcare savings tab, you will find the education tab. And there's what the drop down menu to that education tab will look like. And under here on the left hand side, you'll find a bunch of what I hope you'll think are helpful resources, such as ways you will find our subscription service, um, our electronic brochures. In the middle, under that education tab, you can find our webinars and sign up for our monthly newsletter. And on the right-hand side, you can find information on ways to partner with Needy Meds. So check those out. I also want to mention that we do host, and let's see, let's get to that in just a sec. Before I get to mentioning that, I also want to point out, no surprise, you can stay in touch with Needy Meds via social media, including Facebook and Twitter. We do populate our Needy Meds YouTube channel with all of our videos, webinars, and presentations. And you can find all of these social media icons on the top right of our homepage. You can get in touch with us on LinkedIn. And you'll also find a link to the Needy Meds blog. It's called The Voice. It's a great way to stay up to date on not only what's going on with needy meds, but what's going on with timely healthcare topics. My friend and colleague Evan is the editor and writer for that blog, and he's really talented, so I think it's worth checking out. We do still have Pinterest, shockingly enough, and you can also find us on Instagram. As promised, I want to leave up the contact information for needy meds. And I also want to take a moment to point out that in that handout section, you will also find a top 10 resources beyond needy meds list. And that's exactly what it sounds like. It's a list of other apps and organizations that we find valuable and wanted to share with our users. So when time allows, please revisit the needy meds website. If you have specific questions, reach out to our call center and also check out the materials that have been uploaded into that handout section of your go-to webinar control panel. I'm going to go ahead and leave up our contact information as I get to some of the questions coming, coming in. Um, if you would like to order drug discount cards and some of our brochures, hard copies, obviously, drop an email to our info email address. Hang on to my email, which is Carla with the C, Carla at NeedyMeds.org. And on the bottom left-hand side, you will find our toll-free helpline. And again, that's 1-800-503-6897. We are open weekdays, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., but please remember we're in Massachusetts. We're on East Coast time. I also will mention that we do have Spanish-speaking counselors. And, of course, right next to that, you can find our website address, which is needymeds.org. So I'm going to go ahead and get to some of those questions coming in, and I'll take just a sec to see if Tina has any questions as well. Tina, you just let me know. Thank you, Carla, and thank you very much for this really great information. I knew it was going to be uh, more than we thought because there is so much more to needy meds than just the discounts for the prescription, so I'm extremely grateful. But one of the things that I found really helpful that I'm not sure enough people know about is 
the um, signing up for the mailing list for the diagnos um, diagnosis specific programs and um, the patient assistance programs that um, I get regular emails on. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? I would be more than happy to. Thanks for bringing that up. I'm going to go ahead and bring up the Needy Meds website so we can see um, what Tina is referring to in real time. So I'm going to go ahead and make this screen larger. And so here's exactly um, what the screen looks like. What we covered to, in today's presentation is that healthcare savings tab. And there's that drop down menu that we talked about. We also, just towards the end of the presentation, we talked about some additional resources under that education tab. Now, on the resources for you section, there's a whole bunch of other resources um, worth, I think, worth checking out. One of those are, is our subscription services, where you can sign up for a whole bunch of e-newsletters and alerts. Specifically, what Tina is referring to now are two email alert option. One is called PAPIS, which is the Patient Assistance Program Update Service. So what PAPIS does is it allows you to sign up. That way you will receive either daily or weekly, you decide your preference, emails about changes specifically in patient assistance programs. Under that education tab, you can also sign up for a similar service, but this one is called DAPIS. And this is the same type of thing. It's a, either a daily or weekly email alert for those interested in receiving the most up-to-date changes when it comes specifically to diagnosis-based assistance programs. So I think that's a service worth checking out especially because I said patient assistance programs, the reason they're right up here on the top left-hand side is because by far they offer the most savings for brand name drugs. And I would say up there in the top three destinations on needymeds.org and the top three reasons people reach out to us are for those patient assistance programs help finding a free low cost or sliding scale clinics and also help finding a diagnosis based assistance program so thanks for bringing that to everybody's attention tina i really appreciate it and under that education tab you will also find in the middle a couple of ways to um a couple of newsletters one is the needy meds monthly newsletter which is called vitals but above that, we also host a website, and you'll see this on that top 10 Beyond Needy Meds Resources PDF. You will find BMedWise. BMedWise is super helpful because it is a strictly educational site dedicated to the safe use, storage, and disposable medicines. And in the center, you will find a way to join that newsletter as well. That's a monthly e-newsletter called How to Be Medwise. So I think that's also worth checking out. Thanks so much, Tina. Please let me know if there are any other questions um, or resources you'd like me to bring to everybody's attention. Um, there are other questions that came in that I will take a moment to answer. And one of them is that we get all the time is actually how is Needy Meds funded? Well, we are, as I said, a national nonprofit. So as you would guess, we are funded with grants and fundraising, both individual and corporate. But if you click on that About Us tab, I believe if you go to the Needy Meds history page, towards the bottom, you will find a number of ways that Needy, or a number of sources of revenue that re Needy Meds relies on. So we are funded with grants and donations. We also sell a software called PAP Tracker, which is designed to eliminate the administrative burden of manually submitting and tracking patient assistance program applications. 
we do share a bunch of website information. We do sell some real estate on our website for partners. And we do partner with pharmaceutical companies that are interested in offering a patient assistance program. So that's a number of ways that we do get funded. Thanks so much for asking. Let's see, another question coming in, how do you find patient assistance programs? So that's a great question. So as I said, if you are looking for help affording a specific medication, you can absolutely click on that healthcare savings tab, but you can also type the name of the drug, whether it's brand name or generic, simply into that drug search bar on the top left-hand side. So for example, I said I checked out Cellcept. So you'll notice as I type it in, it will complete the name of the closest medication. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and click drug search. What'll happen is it'll take you to a page where you see a bunch of icons. So all of these icons let you know what type of cost savings program is available? For example, is there a patient assistance program? Is it available through a $4 generic drug discount program? Does this medication have a coupon available? So those three left icons show you the cost savings. And the three right icons also offer information, but this is educational information. For example, this icon lets you know whether there are support pages, which are basically links to find out additional, additional information about a medication. Something that I think is really cool is that when available, we do upload drug videos which are super helpful. It lets the really quick videos that lets the patient know all the important things they would need to know about a particular medication. And this eye icon lets you know that there is additional medication information through one of our partners, drugs.com. So as I said, you do that search for Cellcept and you come to a page where you'll see all these icons. But if you scroll down, you will see at the bottom, I'm making the screen larger, there are two hyperlinks for Cellcept. And as you can see, as indicated by these icons, there is at least one patient assistance program and there are also coupons available. So if you go ahead and click on this, which is the patient assistance program link, you can see right at the top of the page, it says program one of four. And that's why I said earlier in the presentation that there are currently four patient assistance programs available for Cellcept. And that gives me an opportunity to say that we have a team of dedicated, diligent, and great researchers whose entire job is to make sure not only that the information we currently have on our website is accurate and up to date, but to exhaust themselves finding new resources. And the reason I'm saying that is because if you give us a call or visit needymeds.org and you're not finding a cost-saving medication option, don't hesitate to revisit that site or give us a call a few weeks or a few months later because you never know if an, a new cost savings program will pop up. The other thing that we will always offer is if we can't connect you, your loved one, a patient or client to a specific program that will help you meet that healthcare expense, you can always try and use our drug discount card. And if that also isn't an option, we will do our best to point you in the direction of one of our hardworking partners that will hopefully be able to help you meet that need. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of the live website, which I do hope everybody take some time to come and check out when time does allow. I do want to leave up the contact information as promised. And in that handout section, in case you're interested, I did put a PDF version of this PowerPoint slide deck. You will also find an electronic version of our drug discount card. As I said, you'll find a PDF with resources beyond needy meds. 
as well as in that handout sec section, a patient education booklet and one of our needy med brochures. Hang on to my email address should you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me directly. I don't see any other questions coming in, so unless there are others, I think we can go ahead and wrap up today's presentation. Tina, you let me know what you think. And thank you so much, everybody, for taking time out of your weekend to join me and learn a little bit about needy meds. We do hope that you reach out to us. Thank you, Carla. Thank you so much for explaining this information. I, I did think that I would um, mention that a couple uh, people that I've talked to from uh, different areas of California and even out of the state have been able to utilize some of the programs that Needy Meds offers and have been able to see physicians that have a specialty in scleroderma. Um, is there any way that you can um, uh, further elaborate on, on what they did to navigate that resource on your website? Absolutely. So let's go ahead and put up the Needy Meds website again. And again, that's obviously needymeds.org. I'm going to make the screen again a little bit bigger. So now there's a couple of ways they could have gone about that. I want to be um, clear that we do not have specialists for various diagnoses listed on needymeds.org. But there may be a couple of ways that this happened. First of all, if somebody is looking for a physician that is affordable and convenient, they're going to check out that healthcare savings tab and go to that free, low cost sliding scale clinic section that is broken down into medical, dental, mental health, or substance use disorder clinics. So it's possible that somebody found a clinic in their area and through networking was able to be in touch with an affordable specialist that was recommended them to them by a local physician. The other way that's possible is if you go to that healthcare savings tab, you can go ahead and as I said, click on those diagnosis-based assistance programs. You may recall that diagnosis-based assistance programs, they're a little bit different because for the most part, you cannot find help affording medications, although sometimes you can. Usually, diagnosis-based assistance programs are dedicated to helping people afford expenses that are related to a diagnosis, but don't fall neatly under that category. So for example, I recommend checking out the easiest way to search for one is simply by diagnosis. Now, I clicked on diagnosis, and because this destination on needymeds.org is so big, we put, or I should say so populated, we put together an easy A to Z index. So what I would recommend doing is clicking on S for scleroderma, scleroderma and then scrolling down to see if scleroderma is listed as a diagnosis. It is, so we'll go ahead and click on that hyperlink. And this is what I was referring to before. There are currently 16 diagnosis-based assistance programs for scleroderma. And the, the reason that I say currently is because, as I said earlier, programs change all the time. Um, sometimes eligibility requirements change, sometimes older programs close and newer ones open. So right now, there are 16 diagnosis-based assistance programs available for scleroderma. And this is a snapshot of those 16 programs that are available. On the left-hand side is a program name and a hyperlink, if available. There's a summary, which is exactly what it sounds like, the summary about the program. And the far right columns, the two on the right, are the columns you're going to be most interested in. The services provided and the areas of service. Now, the services provided let you know Exactly that. What will this program help connect me with? And the areas of service let you know where you need to reside in our country to be eligible. National programs are always listed at the top because if they're national, it means regardless of where you live in our country, you're eligible to apply. And then as you scroll down, you will see programs listed alphabetically. So you'll see national, for example, and then all of the other ones listed in California. 
the reason I'm pointing out these diagnosis-based assistance programs pages, because it's quite possible that one of these programs was how a user or patient was connected to a particular specialist. So I'm thinking it was one of those two ways that somebody was connected. And as you can see, the programs offer an enormous amount of varied resources. So it's worth checking out. And I, I hope that was a thorough and easy to follow explanation of how somebody might go about that. Thank you, Carla. That was very helpful and I think important that we went over today because I'm not sure people really got um, a sense of how specific some of your help is and seeing that scleroderma is in there and being able to click on it. And I want to remind everybody that many of our uh, families living with scleroderma, they have a lot of um, overlaps of other conditions. They might even have family members or uh, caregivers that might be having some of their own uh, problems as well. And you can find um, a plethora of information for other diagnoses besides scleroderma. So I think it's important for people to see your A to Z and how helpful some of these um, uh, the, the tools and resources are. So I greatly appreciate you explaining that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tina. And I, I really will mirror that sentiment. Um, I could not have said it better myself um, that people, you know, unfortunately don't usually get ill or deal with diagnoses or affording health care expenses in a vacuum. So we do have resources for yourself as well as caregivers and loved ones. And the other thing, forgive me, that I usually like to say at the beginning of the presentation, and I neglected to, so I will say it now, which is I don't expect everybody to walk away from today's presentation as a needy meds expert. My only hope is that you walk away knowing that we are here as a source of support if you, a loved one, a patient or client is having difficulty affording healthcare expenses or there are barriers to their healthcare needs. And as I said, we do our best to not only spread the word about what we do, but we're very proud of the fact that all of the resources that we offer are not only free, but anonymous. That's super important. As you can see, you do not need to log into our website to be connected to any of our programs. And that is true of our call center. You do not have to share any biographical information to be connected with healthcare savings or resources that you need, as well as true for a drug discount card. So please do keep that in mind. And although we do our best, we also recognize that unfortunately, try as we may, we cannot be the solution for everyone. So we do have partners that we proudly refer people to that um, will help them hopefully fill in the gaps that we cannot bridge for our users. And that includes other nonprofit organizations with aligned missions, as well as yes, believe it or not, nonprofit pharmacies. So don't hesitate to reach out to that call center if you need help. And again, just remember we're on East Coast time. Thank you. Thank you, so, Carla. Tina, absolutely. Oh, and yeah, I was gonna say I didn't I didn't see any question any other questions coming in, but please, Tina, let me know if there's anything else you'd like to address before we wrap up for today. I, again, I just wanted to say thank you, and I want to remind everybody that um, when I signed up for the different um, email alerts, I was so impressed on the different programs, including uh, COVID relief uh, financial programs that I wish I would have taken the time to know about earlier and share with our members, but it just goes to show you um, the level of um, um, uh, the metric that you take to make sure that people are supported, and I think that you won't realize how helpful some of these links are or these um, mailings that you get until you actually look through them. And you might find things that are helpful for you, but you might find that there's things that are helpful for others that you know that are dealing with other types of diagnosis or financial distresses. And when I was looking at your website, I, I also noticed that one of the ones on there was my link. So you can download all of your medical records into one place. And I can't tell you how many, um, People tell me that they've got uh, different doctors with scleroderma. You have so many specialists in your corner, but sometimes they're not all from the same place. So just knowing that you are offering these um, 
areas where people can look into these um, other things that might help them navigate their diagnosis or be more on top of it or helpful to their physicians is something like that. So um, just I, I encourage everybody to really take the time to go onto your website and play with it and click on things and look at all the different um, areas of interest or help that Needy Meds provides. And once again, um, thank you very much for taking time out of your day today to explain this to us. Oh, my pleasure. And Tina, thanks for bringing up that, especially about my links, which I did bring um, their website up and you can find a link to my links, which is one of our partners right on our homepage. Um, so do check that out. And it also, um, in addition to um, using our website for yourselves and your loved ones, Needy Meds considers all of our users our partners. And we take feedback very seriously. Um, we continue to do our best to make our website easy to navigate, which we are currently working on quite a bit. Um, but under that healthcare savings tab, for example, there have been a lot of changes at the request of our users. One of them, for example, was that this low cost and sliding scale clinics category, as I said, it has more than 18,000 clinics. Users requested that we break it up into different categories to make it easier. Also, the COVID-19 resources and assistance with medical transportation costs these were requested by our users. So we can't fulfill everybody's needs unless we know what those needs are. So please be vocal about how we can help and we will happily do our best. I wanna thank Tina again so much for the invitation today. And a big thank you to the rest of the scleroderma community that took time out of their weekend to join me. Again, my name is Carla Della Porta. I'm the Director of User Engagement at Needy Meds, and I hope you learned something about how we operate and why we can hopefully be a source of support for you. Thanks so much, and check out those handouts I uploaded, and please stay in touch. Thanks, everyone. Take good care. Thank you.